Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Radiant Kitchen. I apologize, apologize if this video is a bit dark, the weather in Melbourne today isn't the best, so I've got the light on so hopefully you can see me okay. So let's get straight into that, to today's episode. It is the second last episode of this series and I really hope that you've gotten a lot out of the previous episodes. So today I will be talking about an exercise myth, um, I'll be talking about a superfood which is goji berries for this week and I'll also be looking at muesli bars, the good and the bad and believe me it's going to surprise you because it surprised me when I was in the supermarket looking at all these. So let's get stuck into today's episode. So I'm going to talk about an exercise myth um, and it's kind of an exercise slash food type of myth I think. So um, it is you should have protein shakes or protein bars after any workout. Now this one is quite popular and something that I know in the gym that I used to work out, they really pushed their protein shakes and their products that they do have um, that they sell, sold at the gym. But I'm actually not a huge believer in this um, as an option. Only because, yes, you can get um, female-friendly protein shakes and protein bars out there that aren't huge in carbohydrates. Um, and huge in protein amounts that some guys like to have, but also um, I just think they're they're processed. They've got sugar in them. Um, I just think you can get a lot more better protein out of just eating natural foods that have protein. So instead of doing a nice big workout and then chugging down a chocolate protein shake, how about having a bowl of yogurt? Or I've even heard that chocolate milk is good. So grab your milk, add in some Milo or just a spoonful of cacao and enjoy that instead of having a protein shake which is full of all other stuff. Also, if it's just before um, before a meal that you've finished exercising, such as breakfast, lunch, or dinner, make sure you've got a nice bit of protein in there, so eggs, meat, uh, tuna, anything like that to really increase the protein. I think you're much better off um, having protein out of a natural source instead of having something that's in a box or in a, in a jar. I do add protein powder to some of my bliss balls, but that's a small, small quantity. And I think that's more than okay. But to have it every after every workout, I don't think is necessary. I'd rather you get that from eating natural foods high in protein. So your superfood of the week is goji berries. So I get mine from a little scoop, um, scoop and whey um, place in my local Coles. So I hope you can see them properly. They are little dried red berries and they are full of amazing goodness. Um, so I'm again going to read some of the benefits for goji berries. So excuse me why I'm looking down and reading um, off my laptop. Um, but I just want to give you some feedback about goji berries and what, what the benefits are. I think it's really important to know. So goji berries apparently are the most nutritionally dense fruit on the earth. It's a pretty big statement, isn't it? Um, they are in a similar family to vegetables such as potato, sweet potato, tomato, eggplant and pepper. Um, they are native to the Himalayan mountains of Tibet and Mongolia, but the goji berry is now grown in many, many countries all around the world. Um, they were only recently introduced to Western countries, but they have been used for thousands of years in Tibet and China, both as a culinary ingredient and medicinally. Um, unique among fruits because they contain all essential amino acids. Goji berries also have the highest concentration of protein of any fruit. They are also loaded with vitamin C, contain more carotenoids uh, than any other food, and have 21 trace minerals and a high in fiber. Boasting 15 times the amount of iron found in spinach, as well as calcium, zinc, selenium, and many other important trace minerals. There is no doubt that the humble goji berry is a nutritional powerhouse. So... Do I need to say more about the goji berries? Um, they're also traditionally in Chinese medicine and they act on the kidney and liver um, to help. They help with lower back pain, dizziness and eyesight. Um, they most often consume raw or made into tea um, and also added into soups. So the way I use goji berries myself is you can add them to your smoothies. I love to sprinkle them on top of my smoothies if I want a bit of texture, put them in your yogurt. Um, I love loving earth buckins. Um, 
chocolate buckins. Oh my God, they feel like you're having dessert. They are so good. Um, and goji berries are in them. So goji berries being very goes great with chocolate. Um, so you can add them in anything, eat them as they are or blend them up into your smoothie. Um, there's also beautiful dark chocolate goji coated goji berries that you can buy in the supermarket that are one of my favorite snacks. So definitely get onto goji berries if you haven't um, had a had a look at them yet. So um, they do taste really yummy. So enjoy them. So let's get into our food group. Thank you to Elise for um, giving me this option to do. I've bought actually quite a few boxes um, and I know my husband will eat them anyway, so they're not going to waste, but I'm looking at the good old muesli bar. So I've stayed away from the silly muesli bars like LCMs and all those sugary kitty ones um, because they're just not good for you. I'm not even going to bother wasting your time looking into them. But I have gone for ones that they've got clever marketing. So they come across as natural, good for you. You think, oh, yeah, you know, this has to be good for me. Um, but I was actually quite surprised at the results really. So let's get started looking into these muesli bars. So I'll start with the um, not so good, I reckon. We'll start with the bad and we'll work our way up to the best that I came across at my local supermarket. So surprisingly, the one that came in first place for worst is actually Go Natural. Yeah, go natural, okay? <laughs> Honey, almond, and apricot ripple. So I'm not tarnishing the whole go natural range, but this was the one with the highest sugar content that I could find out of all the muesli bars, even including the kitty ones. So this stays on the back. Enjoy the go natural honey almond and apricot ripple snack bars containing the goodness of whole Australian almonds, juicy apricots, crunchy cornflakes, naturally sweetened with Australian honey, then drizzled with a tangy ripple. So does that sound good to you? It sounds pretty healthy to me. On the front, it's got naturally gluten-free. It's a source of fibre and no artificial colours or flavours. So to me, I would say, oh, okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's look at the nutrition panel. So I will, of course, as usual, go by the, um, the quantity per 100 grams. So let's go to the carbohydrate content. It, it has 60.4 grams per 100 grams of carbohydrates. And get this sugar 43.9 grams per 100 grams of sugar it is almost 50 percent sugar um, it blew my mind when I read that it's got some dietary fiber of 5.7 grams per 100 grams and plus some small traces of magnesium iron folate uh, vitamin b2 vitamin b3 and vitamin e um, but the amount of sugar in this is just blew my mind so if this is something that you eat um, I wouldn't eat it anymore. That is just a huge amount of sugar. Um, let's, you've got like nearly 20% of your daily recommended intake of sugar in one of these bars. Like, that's insane. <laughs> um, it just shows you how clever marketing and how much we fall for it. So let's put those away and not eat those. Um, not the best. The second worst was actually Uncle Toby's yoga tops. Now, my husband is a fan of the yoga tops, and I thought they were okay. You know, you think they've got yogurt on it. How bad can they be? Um, mango and passion fruit flavor were the ones with the highest amount of sugar out of the yogurt top range that was at my local supermarket. Um, so let's look at the, the table here. We have fat is 15.6 grams per 100 grams. Carbohydrates is 64.7 grams per 100 grams, so it's more carbs in this one than the Go Natural. Sugar is 31.1 grams, so a lot of sugar still, but nowhere near as much as the Go Natural Honey Almond and Apricot Ripple. Um, and it's got a little bit of diet fiber with 5.3 grams per 100 grams. So, um, yeah, probably another one to stay away from. Um, I looked at the strawberry, I think... Yeah, the strawberry and apricot yoga tops, still high in sugar, but this mango and passion fruit was the one with the most sugar. So very interesting. The next one is Mother Earth. Doesn't that sound like a nice, healthy option? Um, baked oaty slices. It's got big ticks of sauce of fibre and whole grain cereals. <clears throat> this is raspberry and white chocolate flavour. Um, you think oats? They're good for you. Oats are a superfood. Um, the brand's Mother Earth, that makes you also think that it can't be too bad. 
Um, but let's look at the nutritional panel. Carbohydrates, 49.2 grams, so a lot less carbs than the previous two muesli bars. Sugars, 27.8 grams. So again, we're getting lower in our sugar content. And dietary fiber, 5.2 grams. So, um, so far, all three of them have a similar amount of dietary fiber in them. But high, high calorie, uh, not calorie, sorry, high, high sugar content. So let's maybe stay away from this one too. Now on to freedom foods. Um, I've got two lots of freedom foods here for you. First one is this Very Good Delight Bar. Um, it says, um, it's called Freedom Foods, Honest Nutrition and Free, Real Fruit, Low Salt, High Fiber, Natural Antioxidants, Gluten Free, Wheat Free and Nut Free. Um, so again, sounding good. Um, let's look at the nutritional panel. So carbohydrates, 70 points. Six grams, so the most carbohydrates out of all the packets so far. Sugar is 22.3 grams and dietary fiber 9.7 grams, so a lot more fiber in this, less sugar, um, but a lot more carbs. So um, Freedom Foods, I think, from what I've come across with looking at different um, in the health food aisle, Freedom Foods are, these are pretty good. Um, I've got another one coming up for you that is quite low in sugar that me and my husband have been getting um, recently because I try and get him to lower his sugar content too. Um, so Freedom Foods, not too bad, um, but I have got better. So And you'll be surprised at one of the better ones actually because I was. I have another Uncle Toby's one for you. This is Chewy Choc Chip. Yes, Choc Chip. Your carbohydrates are 66.7 grams, so still quite high in carbohydrates. 17.3 grams of sugar, so a lot, lot less sugar than the other boxes and a lot less than the yogurt tops. Dietary fiber, 6.2 grams, so not quite as much fiber as the Freedom one, um, but more than the Go Natural, the other Uncle Toby's yogurt tops and the Odie slices. So these are not too bad, actually. So if you want a bit of a... Um, a bit of a chocolate kick you could probably get away with having one of these once a week I, I reckon if you want to have um, yeah packaged muesli bars um, you can't go past making your own honestly um, if you've got the time or make the time to make your own muesli bars you can't go wrong this is the other freedom one that I was talking about so this is nut free um, and wheat free it's Chewy apricot bars, they're really yummy, they're not overly sweet. Um, so I have maybe one a week if that, if I'm on the run going to a boot camp or something in Riddles Creek and I need to have a bit of a snack on the run, um, I grab these because they are quite low in sugar. So on the back it's got nut free, goodness of oats, source of fiber, real fruit and nothing artificial. So on the panel we have 64.5 grams of carbs. Sugars is only 12.6 grams. So remember, the Go Natural was 43 grams of sugar. And now we're down to 12.6. So there is low su lower sugar options. And dietary fiber is 7.1 grams. And there's also potassium in these. There is only one, two, four, seven ingredients in this um, compared to some of the others that have a whole big list which is why I say make your own, but if you can't, this is a great option to have. And the winner of the Muesli Bars is Carmen's. Um, Carmen's Apricot and Almond Muesli Bars, where I looked at all the Carmen range that was there, and this was the one with the least amount of sugar compared to all the other Muesli Bars. So this one is loaded with delicious apricots and almonds. These muesli bars are the pick of the bunch. They're low GI, which is perfect. That's what you want. This will keep you fuller for longer than the other sugary ones. They're wheat-free, natural fruit, and whole grain goodness. And plus they're 100% Australian made and owned, which is beautiful. So on the packet, we're looking at 54.9 grams of carbohydrates, only 11.6 grams of sugar, and 6.4 grams of dietary fiber. So Carmen's definitely wins with the least amount of sugar by a long mile. It's a quarter of what's in the Go Natural Almond and Apricot. And these are Almond and Apricot as well. So um, definitely if you are a muesli bar person that wants something on the go, let's go with Carmen's. Her range are about, um, most of them weren't too high in sugar, maybe 15 or 16 was the most. So 
pretty good this one is the best and then we've got the freedom apricot chewy bars um, from freedom so these are the two pick of the bunch if you're a person that likes the muesli bars even for the kids grab these let's cut back on the sugar and look after ourselves and give us give us ourselves and our kids the goodness that they need so I hope you have found this episode very informative. Thank you again to Elise for the idea about doing muesli bars. I have one more episode for you next week. And if there is something that you would like me to talk about or a food group you want me to look at, please let me know. I always love to hear from you and I will see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.